make a midline incision. I guess you should Yeah, do. you can. Okay, let's do a little bit more here. So these will be our retractors today. This is for stand. You're right. But not for time. Where is the stomach? Cut the stomach. Of a look. Cut the stomach a little. Yeah, that kind of tells us for next time, huh? To get a little bit better. What's this? Gallbladder. Very good. And what is the gallbladder usually tucked under? The liver. The liver. So there's the liver. There's the gallbladder under it. What's this? This is the sac that your food goes into after you eat. What is this one? The stomach. Very I cut good. the stomach. You cut the stomach a little bit. Do you see the pancreas, buddy? So the first step is actually always to look around. Do you see cancer anywhere else other than the pancreas? No. I don't either, which means that it's okay for us to keep doing this surgery. Now, usually the first thing they do is actually they look at the liver. They make sure that the liver is healthy and there aren't any areas that are worrisome for cancer there. And then the first part is called the coker maneuver, but what we're actually going to do... Maneuver? That's right, the coker maneuver. We're going to try to free up the part of the small... Maneuver? Maneuver. It needs something that you do. So we're gonna try to free up the small intestine or the duodenum. That's a good question. What do you see? So this is actually the IVC or the uh, inferior vena cava. The common hepatic duct is right here. So we cut that and then we're also gonna cut to cut the duodenum or the part of the small intestine and we're going to do it right about so this is the pylorus that's the end of the stomach let's do it about here good so if you see under there that's the ligament of trites we want to go about here so let's cut about right here very good. The poop is coming out. Actually, it's not coming out. That's why they use a stapler to keep the poop inside. We're going to cut the pancreas at the neck. And we're trying not to cut through the blood vessels. So that piece is going to go to the pathologist. We're going to look at it. So there's that's right. She's going to cut into it. So there's the pancreas with the tumor, the piece of the small intestine or the duodenum or duodenum, the gallbladder uh, and the duct. So we're going to take all that back. Now, so that was the ligament of trites. You can feel it. So we want to put things back together again. So here's what's left of the pancreas. So we're gonna actually sew this up to the end of our jejunum. Sure. Okay, so we hooked the pancreas back up. The next one is we have to hook up the bile duct. So see, we were able to hook up all the things, so the pancreas, the bile duct, and even the stomach. Then the last thing that we're going to do, and the reason why I have this tube, is that they usually make a feeding tube. This is called a guest 
gastrostomy too, because a gastrostomy is when you make a hole in the skull. This isn't one of our better closures. I'm not saying uh -oh. a lot. Uh oh. Do you want to do a single of every bit. place? Yeah, let's turn this up every place. There you go. So there you go. You did a whipple.